Riptide GP Renegade for Nintendo Switch is kind of a dream come true for me. If Nintendo won't do a sequel for, Wa for Wave Race, Vector Unit seems more than happy to step up to the plate and deliver. I wasn't sure, to be honest, what to expect from a game that's going to hit the Nintendo Switch eShop at $10 US, and even though I've played some of the Riptide series on iOS, uh, and I knew they were pretty good there, I wasn't sure what to expect from essentially a mobile port onto Nintendo Switch. Uh, I can happily say, however, what we got with Riptide shows off that the Switch is the best gaming tablet you can buy, and that mobile games can be made much better with a proper controller and that Vector Unit can pull off a big feeling game with what I'm guessing is a pretty small budget compared to some of the other AAA titles that have been dropping the last couple of weeks. To start off, this, green, this game actually really looks great. Uh, it's not going to win any game awards for <laughs> graphics of the year or anything like that, but for a $10 indie title, I was really impressed with what I saw. Everything runs fluidly, the water physics were spot on, the character and vehicle models were really cool, and the stages all had a very unique feel and a really cool kind of uh, weight that they all ran. Uh, the game also handles like a dream. The controls are so good. They're not reinventing the wheel here, but that's a good thing. This game, this $10 eShop download from developer that usually does tilt and touchscreen mobile heavy games this game feels like wave race let that sink in this game feels like wave race i don't know what other praise i can give nintendo take note vector unit is showing you how to do your own game it's incredible for fans of the series like me that is all you need to know Stop listening right now and go buy the game. That's it. Of course, <laughs> I can talk a little bit more uh, with about courses and different things. So for courses, there's plenty of courses, different game modes, tons of vehicles, and uh, tons of character customization. You're going to get a ton out of this, again, $10 purchase. It's just blowing my mind. Um, now, I haven't had a chance to check out the online multiplayer yet, but there is a career mode, quick races, and two to four player split screen on the Switch. So you're already getting enough to justify that $10 price. Online, for me, just a cherry on top that I actually can't wait to try out once more people pick up the game. But I think the uh, the review pool is kind of tiny, so there's been no one on. Um, but even so, like I said, tons of content in this one. It's great. Uh, the game, again, Riptide GP Renegade. It's easy to get into, but the difficulty does ramp up. It forces you to go spend your money wisely, upgrade your vehicle, and get good. You're going to be going back, and there's already tons of content in it. So going back, uh, it doesn't feel annoying. I haven't felt annoyed by that. A lot of times you feel grindy in games. Um, I never felt that in this. I wanted to go back. I wanted to get better. I wanted to see what the upgrades did in races that I've already done. Uh, and the competition just keeps on going from there. So it's really, really... Uh, really fun to just get in and play this uh that's you know I, I can't say much more praise than it feels like wave race it's a great game for racing fans waiting for the next wave race game stop waiting try this one out i cannot recommend it anymore i'm giving it like 8.5 out of 10 it's a great game vector unit you guys nailed it everyone should go pick up riptide gp renegade hits the nintendo switch eShop december 7th Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, hit subscribe and stay right here on Warp Whistle Gaming.